The Fall of America by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad Chapter 35 America Surrounded with the Judgment of Allah The Four Great Judgments that Almighty Allah God is bringing upon America are rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes. We see them now covering all sides of America as the Holy Quran prophesies, curtailing her on all her sides. And these judgments would push the people into the center of the country. And there they would realize that it is Allah God who is bringing them and their country to a knot. Job in the Bible prophesied that Allah God has the snow and ice to use as his weapon in the day of war and battle against the wicked. We hear and read in the newspapers today of how great hill-like little mountains of snow are pushing down from the north, not only in the northern states of Minnesota, North and South Dakotas, and Montana, but now the snow is in the New England states and they are declared to be disaster areas. The announcer of the disaster of snow in the New England states said that there have never been such great quantities of snow. All up and down the coast to the Carolinas, the rain takes up where the snow leaves off. All around the southern border of America, storms are raging. There are tornadoes and heavy rains and more storms are on the way, one right after another. And in the north and far west, and in the east. America is surrounded with the judgment of Allah God. There are earthquakes and the sea is raging. The Pacific Ocean is now angry and is raging and tossing up great waves as never before. Why should these things hit America? The revelations teach you why. It's because America is filled with devils and has such unclean persons living in America. That is true under the symbolism of a hateful bird. Every filthy, slimy, wicked person comes here for a haven where he can do any wickedness he wants to do. The country is open and welcomes that type of person. As we see, the few little Muslims whose name Muslim means those who have submitted to the will of Allah God. How the enemy hates us and seeks to do all the evil he possibly can against us by falsehood. These are not the days of Noah, Lot, and Abraham, nor are these the days of Moses. These are new times. The enemy does not get away in punishing the righteous just because he hates them. Allah, the guide of righteousness, is with us, and he just laughs at those who try to fight against him. He has destroyed whole nations with less than the power of rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes. The Holy Quran has the record of people even being destroyed by gnats. Allah God does not have to have something great. He does not have to go to work and get a block of iron or a mountain and throw it on them. He uses that which is with you against you. The forces of nature are great weapons as we see them in play upon America. Storms after storms of snow and ice are rolling in from the north and are pushing great drifts that are just covering up everything. What can you do with a God like that? Job prophesied that Allah God has his weapons stored up to use in the day of battle and war with the wicked. He just takes some snow and covers them up. The Holy Quran says that Allah God destroyed people with just cold wind. He froze them. Do you think that you can get away with fighting Allah God? 
No wonder the second Psalms says that he will sit in the heavens and laugh at those who are trying to fight against him. He will have you crazy. It is true. The heads of the governments of the Christian world are confused, and they do not know that they are confused. Why? Because their greatest desire was to confuse us. Now, Allah God has taken the confusion out of us and put it into them. Eat, America. Help yourself to the dessert that you have prepared for us. You eat it. All praises are due to Allah God, who came in the person of Master Far Muhammad. We went to Alabama, and to any state that we go to, we pay a high price per acre of land that our father's labor has already bought for us. Now, he wants to kill us if we act humble and peaceful and want to buy back some of our own labor. I laugh at some of the things that I hear coming out of Alabama. And not only Alabama, but every other state in the Union. They do not know the time in which they are living. Allah God is well able to take the country from you and give it to whom he pleases. It is in your Bible. Read it for yourself. He took the kingdom from the wicked and gives it to whom he pleases, those who will bring people into righteousness. America is surrounded with the judgment of Allah, the four great judgments of rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes, and confusion in the heads of state. Purchase the books, CDs, and DVDs of the life-giving teachings at store.finalcall.com. Listen to the messages of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan 24-7 at finalcallradio.com. Watch the Nation of Islam's weekly and live broadcasts at NOI.org.